All right, as you can see, we are on to the next day, and I've got a bit of a mess here. You probably do too, right? Like, there's definitely going to be cardboard shavings all over the place. So let me show you what I've been up to. Once again, all of our projects are, they're going to be different, right? Like, um, you might have a different number of layers to yours. You might be um, adding in color at this point. Maybe you're not adding color in at all. I, I'm going to try to add some to mine, I think. Um, I haven't exactly decided where yet. I know what I want the, the actual thing to look like, um, but I'm not sure about the color part yet. Still thinking on that, but I've got some ideas floating through my head. I don't have to have them quite sell yet. So let me show you where we're at. Um, but once again, knowing, you know, you're doing, although we're all doing cardboard texture paintings, they're all looking different. We all have different ideas. So I'm just here to kind of give you guys some insight into how to, how to achieve this. So yesterday, this was sort of where we left off, right? We had the background a little more rough looking where I've um, expose some of the cardboard, but I've left it a little bit more raw and imperfect. So then I cut out the face, um, and that will get glued down. I'll kind of find where that fits exactly, and that'll get glued down. The next thing that I did then was I kind of traced that circle, just like yesterday. Um, traced out a circle and cut out my next shape, which is this hair here. So you can see that. So I cut out this one as well as that one. Um, you can see that the first layer of hair, I want the texture exposed. The next layer of hair, I did not want the texture exposed. So here it is. It was cut out. And then once again, just using my um, X-Acto knife, kind of exposing all of that texture. Notice how I wasn't as careful over here um, because it's going to get covered anyway, so we don't need to waste time with that. Now, if you really want to clean it up, like you can go in and just really make the so there aren't any of those little stray cardboard bits um, but you know what they don't bother me I think that that looks cool it's part of the charm of this project um, so although I've got a you know clean I don't have like this stuff going on over here that's what we're gonna be seeing if there's like those tiny little bits if you look at all our examples they actually have those too so that's okay um, so now I can choose to either kind of just set that there for now, or if I want to get it glued on right away, I could. And then once again, I did that with the, the next layer as well. Cut that out. And then this one, once again, does not have any of the texture um, exposed. So now that I've kind of got this base part down, I've got like my, my general design in place. Now I'm going to start doing all of those accents that I want to add to it. So the first one that I wanted to show you today, and then the rest will will show later, um, is I'm going to be adding actually kind of like 3D um, eyelashes to it. So you can see the eyelashes here. Those are actually meant to kind of curl out and stick out into space. Um, so the first thing that I did was I took my cardboard and I actually peeled off both sides of it. I don't know if you can kind of see like this was one side of the cardboard, this was the other side of the cardboard, like that, and then this is what was in between. Now this probably, even for that tiny little bit, probably took a good five minutes to get both sides peeled off completely. But knowing that this is going to be sticking out um, and both sides are going to be showing, I really needed to make sure that both sides were cleaned up um, because I can't have like that, right? Like that's going to look terrible if we see that. So anyway, um, I cleaned off both sides, plus I wanted to be able to curl it because it's going to be eyelashes. So what I took, what I did was I took it and I kind of cut it to the length that I wanted it to be and I wrapped it around my pencil and gave it some hugs along the way, help it hold that curl. And so now we've got that curl, right? So now these are eyelashes. I'm going to be gluing each one on individually. It's like a top-notch salon service here gluing on individual eyelashes so here here's one of them and you can see it you know kind of loses a bit of its curl but if I just redirect it a little bit it'll go right back into place and I might need to do some tweaking and bending and whatnot to get it to look the way I want it to but my actually I want to bend the other way there we go 
my basic design and I'm not going to glue it quite yet because I want to make sure I've got kind of everything down and in place beforehand and I might trim these up a little bit too <laughs> obviously it's only one eyelash on each eye at this point but you can see where we're going right we're going to have some eyelashes sticking out here eyelashes kind of sticking out over here as well um, and I'll have to start gluing that down either the Elmer's glue if we've got some patience you can use your hot glue glue stick whatever you got um, but that's my next step so we're just kind of once again we're building up the layers if I'm ready to or I need to I could start putting in you know if I've got sharpie marker that I want to be adding to it or um, maybe some um, graphite pencil maybe we're doing some shading in there maybe we're doing some color pencil painting like we're all doing different things so you could start adding those as well um, I probably won't be showing those steps closer to the end of this project um, once I get it all built and then have a better idea of where I want to start adding in some punches of color. So um, anyway, have fun. Once again, be careful. You know, anyone losing any blood or getting cut during this project. So careful with that X-Acto knife. It is sharp. And then also remember whenever you're cutting through, so not just like when you're peeling off that top layer, but you're cutting through all the way, always have another layer of cardboard underneath so you're not cutting on your work surface and ruining any furniture in your house. All right, can't wait to check these out, you guys. See you next time.